ran out of spare bitrate. Okay, the vision of physical security. But the good thing we're getting the Central American Prime Minister as a guest. It's been rather lucky. Well now. The Prime Minister and the 87 precinct. Yeah, I'll make a short speech to the multitudes exactly two weeks from today. Oh, why 87? Oh, this countryman lives around here. He wants to give him the word on what's happening at home, why he should be re-elected as part of the move to the UN. They're weakening. From what I gather, there have been more popular prime ministers. The State Department doesn't want him assassinated while he's in this country, so we have been assigned to work with their security men while he is in the 8-7, and they'll be here tomorrow. We certainly are moving up, in fact, like clowns. All right, you clowns. Listen, you won't think this is so funny in two weeks. If this guy gets knocked off, we'll all be back pounding beats in the sticks. Relax, Steve. We'll cover him like a tent. There's nothing to worry about. Sit down. Lousy cop. That's what you are, a lousy cop. All right, quiet down. I'm a police station cop. All right, Sam. Pick it up. I said clean it up now. And don't try to run out of here, because I'll catch you. And the next time, I'll tie you in a chain. What's the problem? I caught him in Ferguson's alley. He was running out of Toronto's funeral parlor with this. Why'd you steal the re- Take it back. How old are you, Sam? That's a lot. I said, how old are you? Fourteen. All right, sit down. Sit down. What's your name? Ramon Morales. Where do you live? Brother Mariala Street, in the basement. Do you have any folks? My father. Any more of you? What about your mother? My mother's dead. You want to put me in jail, huh? No, we don't put 14-year-old boys in jail. Now tell me why you stole the wreath. Where my mother's grave. Why? Didn't have money to buy one, huh? Where do I get money? My father don't pay me nothing for helping me. Helping him do what, Sam? Help a knife, scissors. I'm even better than he is. All he lets me do is ring doorbells. You mean, uh, you can sharpen a knife like this better than your father? Sure. It's easy to sharpen that. Tell you what, you bring it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm kidding you. Come on, miss. Let's go see the old man. Do we have to? Yeah, we have to. Mr. Morales, the boy stole somebody else's property. Now we're letting it go this time. Maybe if we let him earn some money, he'll buy it where he wants the next time. We'll let him go. You talking about the mess, but you ain't by the beat, bro.
you don't shop and no knife for the police. But, Papa. You hear what I tell you? You stay away from the police. They give you trouble. That's him around, eh? That's him around, eh? Yes. Telephone. Thank you. I come. You stay here. Bueno, I just left the station. It's definite. He's coming here. What do you mean, right away? The man must die. You be there tonight, with all of us. You hear? Si, si. I will come. about this gun. The gun that freed our country. We have waited three years for this day. You do not agree, Morales? I agree, but I wonder, is this the way to do it? We are four men. No party, no organization. We decided that a long time ago. Now, you're either with us or against us. Luis is right. The wall of this cellar is across the street from the police station. Just before Vasquez arrives, one of us will remove this. The rifle will seek him out if he stands there lying to our people. But there will be crowds on the street, in front of the opening. It will be our people. At the signal, they will step aside. One shot. They will never know where it came from. Now, we draw for the honor. Nice, senor. Well, now, uh, that's good service. Watch out, sharp. There you go. You earned it. Thanks a lot. I don't charge you for the knife. What are you talking about? We made a business deal, didn't we? You can't fall to my mother's grave. How'd you find out? The man in the flower shop, he told me. He said he told man came in. Okay, okay. The flowers cost more than a quarter. I owe you. You don't owe me anything. It was a present. Why should you give me a present? Because I wanted to. Now look, kid, uh, I'm uh, real busy. Why don't you take your quarter and get out of here, okay? Hasta la vista, muchacho. Gentlemen. Meet Harry Spencer, State Department Security. Hey, Harry, this is Bert Kling. Bert, how are you? My pleasure. Meyer, Meyer. Uh, I come from a big family. We ran out of first name. <laughs> we were expecting you. Oh? I tell us we got a big deal coming up. Yes, these, uh, these problems do hit us occasionally. Especially with these controversial foreign dignitaries making speeches. How's it going to be running? Well, the motorcycle escort, preliminary details, will be worked out from time to time. Now, we're going to make the stop here, right outside this building. We figure that'll be safer. Now, you're to check the occupants of all rooms facing the street. 
Oh, and I would like a list. Hey, what's going on here? I'm going to give you a shoe shine. Some other time, I'm off. Please, senor. I have to bring the box back to my friend in ten minutes. Can't you see I'm busy? Go ahead and get a shine. You need it. Okay, I'm all about time. Uh, keep it quiet, will you? Okay, Harry. Well, we've set the time for between 11 and 12 in the morning. You need any help with crowd control? No, just for scanning. We don't anticipate too big a crowd. Now, only your job, our man up on the roofs. All right. Well, I don't I think that's all for now. We, uh, we'll go over the uh, details, of course, the night before. <laughs> you know, that's a good shine that boy's giving you then. Yeah. Harry, listen, we'll go through the crank files. If we get any rumbles from the crack files, we'll cover them, huh? Okay, fine. Oh, uh, one other thing. You boys will all wear ID pins like this. That's so that our agents will know who you are. We'll pass this out later. You really expect trouble? Well, we always expect trouble. Thanks for your time, boys. Come on. These guys are really serious, aren't they? Aren't you? Yeah. All right. It's gonna work. We got a lot of leg work out of us. We got a crank file as long as your arm. Who's it gonna be? You and Clank. Uh, you can make up a schedule, give us your hours, and I announce every call. How you doing, kid? All finished. There. Say. Hey, Ramon. Ramon, I said we're even. Okay? How about me next? Sorry, senor. I promised my friend. Well, maybe next time, huh? What'd you do? Fix a traffic ticket for his old man? Speaking of, if somebody really wanted to knock off this guy, it'd be pretty tough to prevent. Yeah. Well, about all I can do is make sure that I... If he's a fanatic, he'd be right up his alley. He could be a martyr. <laughs> almost ready. What's going on here? I told you, I cooked breakfast for you. How, how did you get in here? You see, it was window open. What is this? You cooking pure garlic for breakfast? All the time. But come on, uh, you can't be cooking breakfast for me. You ought to be in school. No school now, summer vacation. Now you don't owe me anything. Go on, eat. You like. I can't. Try. Garlic makes me sick even for supper. This don't make you sick. Please, for me. All right, now you go. Why aren't you married? I'm not married because I don't want to be bothered answering questions especially before breakfast. I didn't mean to do any harm. Just want to do something nice for what you've done for me. Look, it was not done. It's did for me. You better than teach her at school. She never corrects you. Okay, we're even. You did it for me, I did it for you. We're all square. You want something, you call me. Oh, huh? Okay, I will. Sally? <laughs> Looks like we're getting this crank file boiled down faster than Steve figured. All docile as rabbit. Excuse me. Let's see. Raphael Bencosame has no family. He's an iron worker. No rumble on him in two years. What's with these cranks anyway? They're working, aren't they? Please, Bert. 
No philosopher this morning. <laughs> Rafael Ben Cosme. No hay nadie aquí. ¿Qué quiere? Usted perdone, señor. Soy de la policía. Busca a Rafael Ben Cosme. Rush, look, his name has been crossed off. Family name better take it to the left. Mm. Well, that's one for you to run down, Bert. I'll clean you, Lord Haviland. I'll dust it off. Well, thanks, Ramon. See, I told you guys, he's a friend of mine. Well, Uncle Runs, looks like you found yourself a real pal. Hey, any of you guys know what happened to a man who used to live your name, Raphael Ben Cosame? Oh, yeah, he moved away, got a job as janitor. Where? Oh, I don't know, I just moved away. How about me and you, you know, finding him? Oh, huh? no, 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 against regulation. You, uh, wouldn't want me to get in trouble, would you, pal? No, no, uh -uh. See you later. Get him. You know, I think, Raj, what? I think you ought to adopt a kid. You're a big help. No, no kidding, Ron. Deep down inside, you're really the father type. I'm the bachelor type. I like it that way. Maybe his last words. I never let a girl hear you say that. Kids, no. <laughs> Ten more of those jokers ahead of us tomorrow. Don't remind me. Hey, good night, Uncle Raj. Keep track on, will you? You tell me what you do about the flowers. And for this, I thank you. But now, he, he don't want to leave you. Me? I'm not after a thing. Except maybe a little sleep. Checked out three more dog holes. I'm well so don't keep an eye out. But I haven't been able to run down this Rachel Ben Cosima yet. Good. What's good about it? 
You know, Bert, I just saw a heartwarming scene outside. Kids getting on a bus, going to camp. Ah, that's the greatest thing in the world for city kids. Yeah. Now, look, but you know, the it. sad thing is that it occurred to me that it would be great public relations for the precinct. And it would give us a way and, and send one of these neighborhood kids to camp. Well, that's not a bad idea, Rock. Any particular kid in mind? Well, let's see. Uh, How about Ramon? It's a great idea. Well, I thought you'd like that, Rock. Yeah? Well, um, 20 bucks or swing the deal. Just five bucks a piece. Five for me and you and mine. Look, you big faker. You want us to kick in our hard-earned dough just to get that kid out of your hair for a week, right? It's a very crude way of putting it, Bert. Well, I'm a very crude guy. Especially when somebody's trying to con me. You're right. What's the hassle? I, um, uh, I'm getting up a camp record for a week. Got a better idea. Why don't we keep Raymond here and send him to camp? No, I think we got something. Very funny. Hey, Steve. These guys are too cynical. Now, you're a decent guy. Well, they're not cynical, Rugs. It's just that you're a lousy cop. Uh, just 20 bucks for one lousy week. Five bucks a piece. You cooked me garlic for breakfast. I did it. I don't want to hear any more. Here. Let me, let me tell you. Your performance is worth it, then, Rod. Thank you, Bert. All right, it's a good idea, anyway, Rod. Yeah. One, two, four. Bert, let me a dollar, will you? Five dollars. Yes, sir. You guys don't know what this means. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Where's your five? Uh, Bert, uh, could you loan me five until payday? Thanks a lot. I'll see you later. What do you mean you don't want to go to camp? Why, well, you could ride, swim, eat good food, sleep out on the trees. I don't know how to swim. Well, they'll teach you how to swim. That's the whole point of the thing. Oh, you'll learn how to do things you never had the chance to do here in the city. I like it in the city. I want to be with you. Come on. You don't want me to lose my job, now, do you? How could you lose your job? Can't you tell? And uh, we chose you to go. Now, if I have to tell him I failed, well, he's not going to like that. Now, you don't want that to happen to me now, now, now do you? No. So? OK. So you all go. Atta boy. Oh, Mr. Morales. I was just telling Ramon, the boys at the precinct got up a little fun. We'd like to send him to camp. That is, if it's all right with you. You want to send my boy to the camp? That's right. Why do you do this? Because he's a nice boy. I'm the boy's father. And I say, no, thank you, senor. But Mr. Morales, it's only for a week. We thought he'd... Please, senor, Ramon stays here. But, Papa, I want to go. Silencio. I'm real sorry you can't do it, Ramon. Get back to work. Yes, Papa. Papa, why don't you let me go to camp? I can learn to swim, sleep under the trees. You stay away from the police. You hear what I tell you? See, si, Papa. You're a fool, Viedo. You were telling you changed your mind. But why? I thought you would not want me to have business with the police. You thought. Don't you see? If you let the boy go to camp, it gives you a good reason to go to precinct. Ask if there is a letter from him. You listen. Watch. Maybe you hear something we need to know. The more we know, the better you can do the job. But you work there, you can... I can't sit in this squad room. Besides, four ears are better than two. You'll send the boy to camp. Oh, 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 oh. what I told you, eh? Nice to back. Thank you. Goodbye, Papa. Adios. I see you sometimes, huh? The boy writes me letters. I don't read the English. Maybe you read them to me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, Mr. Riley. You know, you boys have done a good job. Tomorrow should come off all right. We tap a few of the loose ends. 
Oh, uh, everybody in that list of yours check out all right? All except one. We just got a lead on him last night. Bert's out on a pickup right now. Good. Well, Al and I'll get back to you later. Take it easy. No, tomorrow night I'll take it easy. Nice guy. Yeah. I sure wouldn't like his job. Hey, what have you left? Well, Morales. Say, have you heard from Ramon? That is what I came to ask. I thought he write you. Oh, not a line. He's probably too busy having a good time. Ramon like you. I'm surprised he don't write. Well, you know how kids are. Out of sight, out of mind. Has the mail come today? Not sure. Do most of the time now. Look, um, if I hear from him, I'll, I'll get in touch with you. Do you mind if I wait here? Oh, no, go ahead. You can sit right out there. Thank you. This is Mr. Rayfield Ben Cosimo. Guess who I found? Right across the street, he's a janitor. Legally passing pamphlets and agitating. You know, one of the conditions of your release was that you register any change of address to the police. Well, you failed to do that. I forget. You live at the same place where you work across the street? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's where I picked him up. You know, we could make you serve out your suspended sentence for failing to register. We'll let you off easy. We'll just keep you here until after tomorrow. I'll take him back up. Is there anything? No, there's nothing from Ramon. Maybe tomorrow? Look, uh, if I hear from him, I'll get in touch with you, okay? Excuse me, but I hear what you say to that man. You think he'd make trouble for you tomorrow? Well, it could be. We're not taking any chances. I read about the Prime Minister. He's not a good man for my country. I don't want anything to happen to him while he's our guest. You say if he's bad, elect someone else. That is not easy in my country. Don't you have elections? Oh, see. Si. You vote for the Prime Minister. Oh, you go to jail. <laughs> Why don't you do something about it? Maybe somebody tried tomorrow. Maybe it would not be a bad thing if something happened to the Prime Minister. There would be a revolution. Hey, Morales. You better not go around talking like that. We'll have to lock you up, too. Oh, do not worry, senor. I am no George Washington. What do you mean? Did not George Washington lead the revolution here? Well, yes, uh, but uh, that was a long time ago. We, we've settled down since then. Uh, after you win your victory. Well, like I said, that was a long time ago. When we want to change our government, we do it by votes, not by bullets. Maybe someday my government grow up like the United States. And then my people can live the same way. Well, you tell your people they'll never get there by shooting every politician they don't agree with. The trouble with that system is that somebody on the other side might feel the same way about you. Adios, Senor Avalon. Adios. You know, you're not a bad guy. You'd think that kid would drop a guy a line, wouldn't you? Well, probably forgotten all about you. You know how kids are. I was talking about his father. I won't see any further when they bring in Raphael. I've got to go now. Wait up. Diego, you were in the station. What did they do with Raphael? They say they keep him in the jail until after tomorrow. You see? I told you. You will learn much there. The police do not want any killing. They will be watching. Very carefully. Let them watch. Emilio will take Rafael's place. He'll help you get away when it's all over. 
You're going to look happy. I don't know. Once I was sure, but now you are still sure. You just wait to back out. Do you understand? Huh? You just wait to back out. Do you understand? It's too late. Hey! <laughs> Stay here and call the police. Oh, no, police. I find it. Do you know where he might be heading for? Yes, I think I know. Buenos dias, senor. Buenos dias. Yeah, it'll be a grand day for the pickpockets, huh? Aye, that it will. Well, uh, they'll notify you just as soon as you leave the hotel. Should be in about another hour. We'll make another check around, huh? Okay. Sure. Uh, everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay. Yeah. Oh, what do you have from your pal? I don't. Uh, isn't that what you wanted? Who's complaining? No, I'll bet you'd be glad to get us out of your hair, won't you? Not at all. This is something new and different. Yeah. Well, let's hope it isn't too different, huh? Morales is not home. No one had seen him since last night. So? Rafael is a fool, and Morales is a coward. That leaves you and me. Take me away. Say we never come back here. 
I don't get it. Why does he want to take you away? He didn't tell me. Now look, mister, orders are nobody gets through. Now, will you stop arguing? But I tell you, I've got to get through. My son ran away, and I think he come here. That's trouble, Mr. Morales. Ramon ran away. I get him at the camp, and when he got off the bus, oh, I... Oh, don't worry, Mr. Morales. He's with Detective Haviland and his partner. It's all right. Thank you. I get him. Go on. Straighten everything out. All right. Better come on out. They'll do any minute. You stay here. I'll be back. Ramon, you should not be here. Mr. Morales, I don't know what this is all about. But, Papa, I want to stay here. Senor Howell is my friend. I'm sorry, Ramon. I have no other choice. Right. Let's go. Wait. I do have a choice. We cannot let him go. We will not. Come. First, the Prime Minister, then him. One moment. speech had better be good. The kings depart. Yeah, prime ministers too. Boy, was that a corny speech he made. Well, that just about does it. You got the men involved, a statement, everything. No reason to keep you here any longer. The district attorney may want to talk to you, but that's up to him. Do you hear me, Mr. Morales? You let me go? Come on. Take your papa home. Can I come and see you again sometime? You sure can. Mr. Morales. I don't know what made you change your mind, sir. But believe me, you did the right thing. Your country let me live here. It is better to live by your rules. I hope someday my country will too. At least you gave it a start. I would like to think so. Adios. Adios, senor. Rod? Why don't you come on over for dinner tonight? Hey. Yeah, I'll tell you he's cooking up a batch of garlic strips. Ladies and gentlemen, Detective Corella. Wait a minute, slow down. Would you repeat the address, please? 